Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new, I'm Nyx with Chromates Apothecary and today I am bringing you a bonus tarot pick a card reading for the week because tomorrow, May 5th, is going to be a full moon in Scorpio. And not only that, but there's also going to be a lunar eclipse that's taking place, which means that all of that energy that we're getting from that full moon in Scorpio is just going to be further amplified. So we're talking about very deep and intense change and transformation. And there's going to be a theme of renewal and rebirth happening within our lives. So for some people, that means that there's going to be a chapter closing while another one opens. And for others, it's going to be all about throwing away all of the things that no longer serve us, just getting rid of all of that energy and that clutter within our lives. So what I want you to do is take a moment to meditate on these cards and find out which one is resonating with you the most, which one is catching your eye and just jumping right out at you. Starting on the far left side, we have group number one with the Wild Unknown Tarot deck along with this piece of black tourmaline. In the center, we have the True Black Tarot deck and this Zebra Jasper representing group number two. And then on the far right, we have the Crow Tarot deck along with this piece of Howlite representing group number three. So when you've made your decision, head on down to the description box below and then click on the timestamp that corresponds with your group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Tarot Pick a Card readings in the future. And without further ado, let's go on to your reading. Hi, group number one. So here, if you chose the Wild Unknown Tarot deck or this Black Tourmaline, this is going to be the reading for Full Moon in Scorpio for you. And with the Black Tourmaline, I wanted to just sort of talk about it a little bit. This is a crystal that helps repel and block negative energy and also psychic attacks. So if you are feeling as if I don't want to say somebody's hexing you, but if you're getting the feeling like someone's giving you the evil eye or there's someone wishing ill will upon you, this is here to protect you from that. It also helps in removing negative energies within a person in order to sort of cleanse your space. So it's here to help you transform and really bring about a lighter version of yourself instead of having all of this like it's like a filter so instead of feeling like you are bogged down with everything you can become lighter with the benefit from this crystal it also helps remove fear and boost self-confidence which i can see in your reading as well so starting on the left side here we have the devil in reversed and what i'm getting from this card here is that you are finally giving yourself the chance to work through some of your darker aspects, whether they were ones that you have been struggling with for a long time or they are newer, this is going to be a chance for you to be able to really dig deep and work through your emotions regarding whatever it is that has held you captive for, I'm feeling like this is something that is deep rooted and it has been chaining you up for quite a long time. I'm also seeing that you are finally giving yourself a chance to believe that you can heal. Um, it's possible that for a long time that you expected things to just always stay the same, that there wasn't ever going to be any movement. And I'm seeing that you're actually finally beginning to believe that things can change for the better and can actually help you grow further. You're definitely going through a point where you are working on some of your darker thoughts so you're working with your shadow self in order to really release all of these bindings and that is an amazing amount of energy to have 
Also on a more basic level, just looking at these cards, you could either be a Capricorn or have Capricorn placements, um, Cancer or Leo as well. Now heading over to the world in reversed, what I'm getting is that you are finally seeking closure from something. So again, you are there, there was something that happened. I'm feeling like there was this deep rooted trauma that you've carried throughout a good majority of your life. And you are finally giving yourself that chance to close out this pain that you've been through. Um, it's something that you are doing for yourself. Um, I'm not seeing it as an external force, like someone coming to you and apologizing. Of course, that would be amazing if they did, but I'm not seeing it as something external. I'm seeing as you finally being able to forgive yourself for being in whatever situation it was that has held you back, that has um, really caused you a lot of distrust and um, anxiety throughout your life. It could take a little while. Um, this is something that I feel like it is it's definitely deeper than surface level. So it's not like this is a one and done, like, oh, thanks full moon and Scorpio, you really got my back. And I'm thinking that you've either been working on this for a while, or this is just your first step. And going along into the high priestess, you are finally going to be able to learn to trust yourself. And you're going to be able to delve deep into your intuition and into your subconscious mind to finally unlock what it is that you need to put these things in the past, to really put them to bed and release all of that energy. I would say also, um, going with this like divine like feminine energy this would be a great time to really focus on your emotions and maybe get in touch with your softer side in either doing something beautiful like creating art or maybe take a chance to rest and relax maybe take a nice long bubble bath or something that just calms you down because i'm getting that feeling like you are going to be super worked up with emotions and you're going to need a chance to rest so definitely give yourself that chance because it's going to be very strenuous for a lot of us and we don't want you burning out in the two of wands reversed I'm seeing this as you're finally aligning yourself on this level. You're finally coming to this decision of this happened in the past. I trust myself and I'm going to move forward, but you are kind of afraid of what the future could bring because maybe you've only ever known this and you don't quite know what to trust and what you can put your energy and love into because you were burned before. Um, but I am seeing that you are going to really align yourself with your goals and you're going to be able to release all of this negativity and push forward into a path that like how these uh, wands are kind of pinpointing down, like here, you're going to be able to pinpoint and really laser focus on what it is that you want. You're putting up clear structured boundaries and you're going to be able to follow through with those instead of waffling and maybe letting in the wrong sorts of people that could cause you more harm. And I'm seeing that being helped with the strength card. So in the strength card here, we have this really intense sense of um, confidence, you have courage and obviously strength to be able to push forward onto this new path. I'm also seeing that you are going to be compassionate toward yourself. You're going to be gentle. So if you can't let your mind sort of just immediately let go of these things, you're not going to like talk down to yourself and be like, why can't you just forget about what happened? Um, you're going to recognize that what you did go through was a hardship that uh, for a lot of people, they wouldn't be able to handle it with as much grace as you have. And you're going to be able to talk to yourself gently through this time frame, even with the deep-seated emotions that you're going to be feeling. 
I'm also going to pull a few of these cards here. See if we can get any further messages. For group number one. We have Gemini. Here, I'll show you the card. It says versatile, social, and curious. So either you are a Gemini or maybe you have Gemini traits in your chart. It could also be that you are going to be breaking out of your shell and becoming much more talkative and being able to actually speak your truth. You're going to be able to communicate like a Gemini and really explore yourself a lot more instead of feeling like trapped, instead of feeling like alone and um, like you just don't have anyone to rely on, you're going to be able to reach out. Also Scorpio, which yes, full moon in Scorpio, have Scorpio right here. We have honest, determined, and focused. So you are going to be very focused and you're going to work yourself through whatever it is that has happened and be able to finally um, break free from those chains. And lastly, we have root. So strength and grounded for root. And this is for the root chakra. So this is going to be a time for you to really touch base with that and sort of give yourself attention that you need in order to feel good about yourself and to be able to really feel that sense of power. Um, and don't be afraid to experiment and explore as it's just you. And lastly, I'm going to pull from these cards here a little mantra for you. We have this card here that says, hate never yet dispelled hate, only love dispels hate. And it says, quit being a hater, simple. <laughs> I see it as um, you are definitely letting go of that hatred of what has happened. So one of the things about forgiving and moving on is that if you do have hate for a situation, um, it's truly lingering on with a very intense um, sort of binding. And if you are able to see this situation out of indifference or on kind of like a different spin. I don't want to say see it out of love like the card says. If you're able to see it from a different point of view, you can see that whatever happened has shaped you into the beautiful loving person that you are now and you're going to be able to um, really surround yourself with that love further and you're truly going to be able to move on from whatever it is that has had you in its grips for so long. So if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for further tarot readings in the future and join me on this journey of self-discovery and of love. And if you've reached this point, go ahead and leave a little rose emoji down in the comments to let myself and other people know that you did get this far in your reading. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Hi group number two, if you chose the True Black Tarot deck along with this Zebra Jasper, then this is going to be your reading focused on the transformation and power of the full moon in Scorpio. Now I want to take a second to talk about the Zebra Jasper. So what this crystal can do is it can help us see past certain illusions that we have built up for ourselves. It can also help connect you to the earth. So if you are feeling really foggy or floaty and not well grounded, this crystal is here to help you once again reconnect and really root yourself down to be able to focus. 
It's also a great crystal for doing energy work or any sort of spiritual work. And it's also helpful in protecting your aura. So if you are getting the feeling like there is um, negative energy being pushed your way, this is going to help that just slide right off of you. It's going to filter out all of that negative energy and really leave you feeling light and feeling loved by the universe. So going ahead and starting with your reading, we have the world in the reverse position. And what I'm seeing from this card here is that you are currently working on your own like personal definition of like releasing just past issues and you are actually going to finally find closure with those issues. I'm not seeing it as like an external force, like somebody coming back from your past and apologizing for a certain situation. I'm really seeing this as you are finally allowing yourself to heal and grow from whatever that situation was. And you're giving yourself the go ahead in order to do this. However, I am seeing this coming as a sort of delay because in the Knight of Swords right next to it, this is very much a fast paced card. It's very much lots of energy, um, feeling like almost impulsive and like you wanted whatever situation there was to have been dealt with like yesterday. <laughs> you really want to have whatever negativity, whatever situation to be an over and done with completely out of your life and you never have to think about it again. But that's not quite how healing works. So there's actually going to be a little bit of a delay when it comes to this sort of transformation. It's going to take longer than you want it to. And I need to reassure, reassure everybody that it will come eventually, but you have to be more gentle with yourself because it's not like healing is something that can just happen instantly and it just disappears. We have to be gentle with ourselves and we have to feel through all of our emotions. I am seeing you coming to terms with this situation. So in the Five of Swords reversed, that is about really making amends and really um, getting rid of all of that past resentment that you had. So you are going to overcome it it's just going to take a little bit longer than you're used to. And I'm getting the feeling from my group number twos that this might be hard for you to hear or hard for you to deal with because I'm getting the feeling that you are very much um, a master of your own mind. So instead of you focusing on your feelings and emotions, you're instead like, hey, if I control my mind, then I control every aspect of my being. And I'm seeing that because I'm seeing um, Aquarius here. You may be Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or you could also possibly have placements with Gemini or Virgo. And as a Gemini, I'm speaking plainly, I'm very stubborn and I do believe that my mental clarity can get me further in life than tapping into my emotions. So sometimes it can be really hard for me to be able to really express myself. And I'm kind of getting the same vibe from you as well. It could be that you're somebody who you are very stoic and you are just a master of being in control of yourself that you don't share those things about you or you could be very much a person who kind of throws out jokes and everything instead of really delving into the root of the problem and so i'm seeing that as kind of being a hindrance for those of us who did choose this pile it could be that we are stressing ourselves out because we haven't made fast enough progress but i do believe that it will be coming it's just going to take a little bit longer and then this is the first step step into that process of healing. So in the star reverse, I'm seeing that you hearing this is making you feel not like a failure, but you're feeling like you're like, well, what do I do? <laughs> like you're losing trust in your ability because your mind is your strength. Um, and you're nervous about what it could mean for you if you have to approach it from a different point of view. I'm seeing the star as something that you need to really hold deep inside of you 
as that bright light from the star and really try to fill yourself up with hope because this is just a first step. I'm seeing this as you know that this needs to be worked on and it's just been really scary for you to be able to process it, but I am seeing you finally being able to reach a point of actually seeking that closure. And lastly, in the magician reversed over here, I think that you are not tapping into your truest potential. I believe that there is way more deep down inside of you that you can be focusing on in order to help you heal. And <laughs> I'm a stranger on the internet. Like I don't I don't know you on a personal level, but the feeling that I'm getting is that you're selling yourself way, way short and you actually have so many beautiful and amazing qualities that you are able to use for your benefit, but I feel like you're shielding it. I feel like you're sort of brushing it off because it's easier for you to do that rather than to dig deep down inside of you and be able to actually heal from anything that has happened. So I'm gonna pull a few clarifying cards as well see if we can get any further messages that can maybe help us tap into this potential that we have. So firstly, here we have heart's ease, which says learn by fully feeling. So <laughs> this is a nightmare for all of my uh, beautiful number twos who I'm getting the feeling don't want to work on their emotions. <laughs> I completely understand. <laughs> I'm laughing with you, not at you. Um, so yeah, that one there, that's very powerful. Just, I think you need to give yourself a chance to kind of rest and really feel your emotions. You know, sometimes we have to cry. I'm <laughs> feeling like the full moon might be one of those days that you just need a good old cry and you can work on things afterwards. I'm also seeing solar plexus. So in Solar Plexus, we have Ambitious and Self-Confidence, and this card is popping up directly below the Knight of Swords, so it is reflecting that energy. So I think you are naturally a very confident person, and you generally just have this air of being able to accomplish whatever you want. And this is just something that has been shadowing your life for a little bit of time that has really made you struggle and has made it really hard for you to, to be able to focus and be your truest self. I'm going to pull one more. Lastly, we have Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn and you could have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It also says Determined, Ambitious, and Integrity. So with Capricorn, you can use the grounding power of this Earth sign to really truly help you root yourself and work on all of those emotions. Um, I'm getting this feeling because Capricorn is an Earth sign, but as the Murgoat has this connection to water, I'm getting this feeling like you should really seek water, whether it be taking a bath or perhaps if you live close enough to a beach or something, maybe you can go out into nature and find some water and just sort of meditate for a little while. Maybe have that good cry out there. <laughs> Whatever you need to do in order to really um, tap into the determined, ambitious, and just beautiful energy that the Capricorn has. And lastly, I'm going to pull one of these little mantra cards. So this one here, it says flow. It's a feeling. Are you in it? Find your way there now. So once again, kind of giving us the vibe of water on um, that flow, really tapping into your emotions. So water deals with emotions. So I'm really seeing that you need to give yourself the chance to really fully feel what it is that you have been feeling for a long time and don't berate yourself about it. Give yourself that gentle, just sort of motherly energy of being able to feel loved and just 
express yourself in a way that works best for you. You can also tap into things such as creating art, if that's something that really helps you work through emotions, or you can even do it if you are someone who needs to write down lists. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just getting this message right now is that for some of you, you might need to write down a list of things that hurt you and then cast it out such as like doing a burning like a letter or something like that if you needed to write about something that happened in your past and burn that you can release that you can also let it flow in water as well and just expel it for yourself so if you've gotten this far in your reading, feel free to leave a little flower emoji down in the comment box down below to let myself and others know that you did reach this point. If you liked this reading or it resonated with you, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more tarot pick card readings in the future. It helps us to grow if you subscribe to us, so thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a great time during this full moon in Scorpio. Hopefully it treats you well. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Hi group number three, if you chose the Crow Tarot deck along with this Howlite crystal, then this is going to be your reading regarding the full moon in Scorpio that is happening currently. So what I wanted to do is take a moment to talk about the Howlite crystal, and it is here to help us bring new ideas into your line of sight, into focus where you can finally actually work on things specifically dealing with artistic talent, um, inspiration, and motivation. So those things are going to be coming to you a lot easier. It also helps to heal and balance your sixth chakra, which is the third eye. It's going to be there to help you really be able to feel more intuitive and be able to see past certain boundaries. And also it's great for people who are feeling overworked. If you feel like you have been struggling because of work or school or just your life in general, it is here to kind of give you that bit of stability and really make you feel more at ease. So getting right into your reading, I am getting the vibe that a lot of my um, group number threes are going to either be water or air signs. That's just the vibe that I'm getting right out of the gate, especially with the hanged Man over here this is representative of Pisces so you could be a Sun Moon or rising with Pisces in those chart placements and I'm also seeing this dealing a lot with your emotions and creativity so we're gonna go ahead and get started over here on the far left with the page of cups I'm seeing a new opportunity that is opening itself up to you so there is something going on in your life where you are either surrounded by new people who you are networking with or you are learning a new skill and you are going to be able to open up a new door for yourself and be able to see a whole new world that is laid out before you. This can also be about you being curious about the possibilities that are out there. So it could be that you are really trying to research new things and you're trying to sort of branch out into just this new form of life. So I'm seeing you, especially with the full moon in Scorpio, you're kind of finally letting go of things that aren't servicing you anymore. They're just not really like, they haven't worked before, so why would they work in the future kind of thing? You're, you're kind of realizing that and you're going, you know what, I want to try a different path. However, along with that, I am seeing that you are very nervous about this path. It could be that you are either currently experiencing a lot of worry, perhaps you are super overworked, and you just feel like maybe this new path that you're going on isn't quite for you and you're really scared about it. It could be that you are staying up with nightmares, you could be having insomnia where you're actually having a hard time falling asleep or just feeling really really anxious about what it is that's going on around you and i'm seeing this as an opportunity for you to finally be able to recognize this and kind of honor it in a way that is a lot more gentle than you've been allowing yourself i'm getting the feeling like 
you have been struggling with this sort of anxiety, this, um, this worrying feeling where you haven't been able to really not recognize it, but you haven't expressed it. You haven't put it out there for other people to realize how um, like nervous you are about this situation. And it's something that is kind of making it harder for you to even move on. And then going forward, we have with the Eight of um, Swords in the reverse position is that you are... If you look at the crow here and how they are bound by these swords, it's like they are kind of keeping themselves like trapped in there. You're you're really critiquing yourself a lot and really just I wouldn't say you might not be talking down on yourself, but you're like thinking like, oh, well, why would I would do that? Like kind of thing. Like, I don't I don't think I could do that. Maybe imposter syndrome is kind of the right um, mindset. And I'm seeing you start to break away from those habits. So I'm kind of seeing this card a little bit split where here is your like self-limiting beliefs and you criticizing yourself but in the future over here i'm seeing you being open to actually releasing these negative thoughts you're finally going you know what like this hasn't helped me <laughs> being negative and and worrying all the time has never helped me so i'm gonna try something new and try to actually break free from this you're also open to this new perspective to where you can grow from this situation instead of staying stagnant and then going along with that we have the ace of swords in the reverse position but this is about um you having like inner clarity so you're sitting there realizing that you maybe had um maybe you were like had an illusion up again you had this sort of um you built something up in your head as it being one way and now you're finally rethinking how it is that you need to approach it so it could be that you started to go down a certain path it's stressed and is freaking you out and you are super overworked and you really think that you can't do it but you need to allow yourself to have this chance to realize that this is what you need to do to push yourself forward in order to grow as a person so for some of you i'm getting this feeling that um you wanted this you really really wanted this opportunity but you don't feel like you have the support that you need in order to realize it all the way through it. And for you to have to stand on your own two feet and really shout from the rooftops that yes, I want this and yes, I'm worthy of this is actually like terrifying <laughs> to you. And I totally understand, um, I've been there, <laughs> I totally get it. But I think you're finally realizing, especially through this this uh, full moon in Scorpio, you're realizing that you can do this and that you do have the power. I'm hoping that Scorpio is able to bring you that power and, and bring you that confidence. And along with the hanged man here, lastly, we have um, this, this chance of, I'm seeing it as letting go. So generally, the hanged man, he's stuck in this position kind of thing. And he, while he is seeing things from a different perspective, he's also needs to sort of surrender because he's stuck there. He can't get out of this situation on his own. So what I'm seeing this as is instead of you being afraid of the future, you're instead letting go of these anxieties, letting go of all of this nervous energy, all of this worry in order to view things from a new perspective and able to let yourself head forward into this like beautiful new future that you can build for yourself. It's also a great time for you to pause and think. If you need to rethink your decisions just lay everything out on the table and really go through piece by piece 
what it is that you truly want in your life before you take a step forward. So give yourself a chance to really relax, meditate, journal, whatever it is that you need to do to get out all of all this trapped feelings that you have and then make a decision. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a few of these cards here to see if we can get any further messages. Group three, make further messages. We have Fireweed, which this one here says ignite new possibilities and adventures. So I'm seeing this as either you are about to get this new opportunity or you've been in it for a little bit and it's really just sort of scaring you. Um, but I'm getting the feeling that also you will be able to come through on the other side in a favorable position. So definitely go on this adventure. Don't hold yourself back anymore because I'm feeling like you have been stuck before and you haven't been able to allow yourself to truly live. And this is going to be the opportunity that really breaks you out of your shell. We also have Scorpio. Thank you for Full Moon and Scorpio. With this card here, it says honest, determined, and focused. So it could either be that you need to harbor all of these traits, or it could be that you have Scorpio in your sun, moon, or rising. But it is here to tell you that you need to stay focused on your goal and stay determined because you will be able to see it through if you have that ability within yourself. And lastly, we have two, actually. Lucky you, group number three. We have Citrine, which is about abundance. Citrine is also a crystal that deals with um, positive emotions and being able to feel cleansed and happy. So if you can get your hands on some citrine, it's very common. <laughs> so you can definitely get some easily. I would say perhaps keep that near you, maybe at your workstation or by your bedside table. That can help guide you a little bit. And then lastly, we have root. So for root, this one here is about having this inner strength and being grounded and really feeling okay to explore yourself as well. Um, it's about feeling connected to your like base instincts. So definitely give yourself the chance that if you need to, feel free to experiment, feel free to really allow yourself to feel pleasure in that way because it is something that could possibly help you release some of your emotions and help release some of this negative mindset. And if you've gotten this far in your reading, leave a little sun emoji down in the comment box below to let myself and other people know that you have reached this far. And lastly, I'm gonna pull one of these little cards. We have, when would now be a good time? So I'm getting this feeling that this card is here to tell you that whatever journey it is that you have either started or you've been on for a little while, it's telling you that yes, now is the time that you need to go on this journey and not to second guess yourself. I'm really getting this feeling that you are currently on the right path and you just have to keep pushing through and really filling yourself up with determination in order to see it to the end. So if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more tarot pick a card readings in the future. All of your support is very well loved and I feel very grateful to have every one of you watching this video today. And so I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Okay.